Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another AliExpress haul! I know, I haul a lot, <laughs> but you know, they just come in a couple at a time, so I'm having a good time and I'm not going anywhere else to shop, so um, I will link everything down below but I will also, as always, tell you that the prices might change, so it might be more expensive or cheaper. That happens too. Plus, if you shop on AliExpress, they are charging shipping now plus tax, but I can't do anything about tax. <laughs> I don't know if they should be charging tax, you know, because if China doesn't have tax, why do they charge us? I'm, I'm not sure how the shipping, um, how the tax works, so I'm willing to pay tax because things that need to be paid I'm willing to pay but shipping they did it before without shipping so why do it with shipping now I don't know but if you buy more than one item from the same seller then a lot of times the shipping is going to be reduced or disappears this is my tip I tell you all the time if you watch my <laughs> AliExpress holds all of them that you are probably tired already of what I'm saying, but you know, there's always new people coming in and I want everybody to know how to save a couple bucks. So let's jump right in and just look at what I got today. And the first item is a die and it was a dollar and 14 cents. It's candles. <laughs> and I left this because I wanted to show you something else as well. First of all, it does cut really good. You just have to you know, separate it. And I love it, you know, in glitter paper on a card, it's perfect. You can use it like this. You can make a shaker out of that. I feel like, you know, there is a perfect shaker right there. If you just cut a couple and then, you know, this, I'm gonna make a shaker, I promise. <laughs> or you could cut off the ends and just have, you know, the candles. Use it this way, it's very pretty, you can make just a couple candles or if it's for a child or something you know they are three four five you can just make as many candles as you want and i left this piece because those are candles as well right you could use them on another piece of paper like another color and there you go you get candles too different candles i think it looks really really pretty from both side so you can use the negative or the positive it's always pretty they are let me measure this real quick four and a half inches by one and a quarter something like that yeah so cuts perfectly i have no problems with that atc size of course you would have to cut off some of them so you could not really make it with a frame but it still works you can still cut off a part you know so that's good i like for my dies to be usable in more than one craft you know so i want to be able to use them in different ways and this one seems to be perfect okay so there was that then the next one I got is just swirlies again. I know this was $1.13 and I'm going to show you. It's really how you call it filigran. I'm not sure. Okay. $1.13 and it looks like this. I think it's adorable. You can just put different colored flowers on it and it's going to be perfect. Or if you make a cluster somewhere, you know, it's going to just look out here and there. You can cut it off and just use one part. And I, I just like it to put somewhere in between of flowers or whatever. And it is almost three and a half inches long, almost. And around one and three quarters wide. So this should fit on here. Yes. Oh, that's just perfect for the ATC size, right? I think it is. It's really a perfect size. There is not much to say about this die. <laughs> it's really good and I like it. And you can use it in different ways. You can make your own flowers and just put on top, you know, so they are 3D and, um, oh, I didn't take it out. No, I did. I thought there was another cut, but you know, you make the leaves in green or gold, or whatever you want to use and it should be really good. 
you know, I'm crafting here in my brain every time I show you my dice or whatever I bought. My brain is crafting already, <laughs> but it only happens in my brain. <laughs> I can't keep up and craft everything I want to craft. So, yeah, there is that. Now, let me show you a stamp I bought. And this one looks like that. It was 98 cents. And I'm going to stamp it out for you. Do I have paper? I should have paper somewhere, right? Yes. Okay, let's stamp it out real quick just for you to see how it looks. Oh, this is stuck pretty good, but I've had worse. <laughs> so this is not good. Okay, all I need is some ink. I knew I took some ink out. I prepared for the video a little bit today. <laughs> you know, but just a little bit. Okay, let me ink up everything. So this is going to be just, you know, without a block or anything like that. Just to show you how it kind of looks like. Where's my plate? Right here. I love this one with the buttons a lot. Well, I love a lot of them. Not just with the buttons. The gears are really cool too. And the, what is it called? Is that, I don't know. Do you call it a bicycle? How do you call it? Leave me a comment down below because I do not know. Sometimes I have to learn English. I did the same in my Russian videos, by the way. I tell them I don't know. I don't know the Russian word for that. So leave me a comment down below. I forget words. Doesn't it look really pretty? I mean, look at that. This one is like, it's like wood. I don't know. It's wood with buttons. I think it looks really cool. I like it a lot, actually. This is, once again, one of my favorite stamps. <laughs> Look, they have, and I always forget the word for that as well, but I will get it in my brain a little le later. That's just how it happens. It says, manufacturers of old-fashioned design, 100% pure and vintage. Oh, this one has buttons in it too. Oh, they all, oh, those are not buttons. Ha <laughs> ha, look, I thought they were buttons, but they are screws, I think. To me, it looked like buttons. Did you know it? they were screws from the beginning? Or did you think they were buttons? <laughs> Let me know <laughs> in the comments. Am I the only one who thought that they were screws? Hmm, <laughs> okay. I have one more stamp and that's my last one. So I'm going to show you this one real quick if I can find my opening. It was 98 cents as well. And I'm going to stamp this one out for you too. Every time I stamp it out for you, I see myself if I got what I wanted, you know, because if you see on the picture, it's different from what is actually stamping out. At least for me it is. I mean, I can kind of imagine what it's going to be. But sometimes when you stamp it out, it's something different. So let me put some ink on top. Hopefully, uh, ouch, I squeezed my finger. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stamp it right here. It's going to overlap a little bit, but I hope that's okay. If your stamps don't stamp pretty good, that's probably because there is residue on them. So you can clean them with warm water and soap, or sometimes I use a nail file and, you know, I file them really gently and they work. This is, this was there before, <laughs> just so you know. Oh, I like, I do like this and this one. This one was actually the reason why I wanted to get that. And this, you know, I believe I have something similar, but I really like this one as well. Yeah, they are just perfect, you know. And because I stamped them here, sometime later, I'm going to make a journal and I'm just going to put this piece in there in my journal because it's stamped already. So why not? <laughs> That's what I do. Okay, so that was the last item for today. Yes, I did get more. And I don't know when the stuff is going to come in because I ordered it just today. But I did order some different things I want to use for the journal, maybe. So we will see if they're going to come in soon. Of course, I'm going to share with you. But that would be it. So the two stamps 
and two dice. Did I do two dice? Yes. I thought I had three. Maybe one disappeared. I'm not sure, <laughs> but that might be my favorite <laughs> from today. What's your favorite? Leave me a comment down below, you know? And if you enjoyed the whole thing, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And um, yeah, share, subscribe, and a small comment, like a like, or, you know, I don't know, a smiley is very much appreciated and makes me smile. So please do that and enjoy your day. I see you soon. Bye-bye.